The motion to extend the state of emergency for Grenada until May 2022 has been approved by both Houses of Parliament. Members of the Upper House voted in support of the motion during a special sitting on Thursday, just two days after it was passed in the lower house. The motion, which was presented by Infrastructure Development Minister Senator Norland Cox, seeks to extend the declaration of emergency by the Governor-General dated January 11, 2021. Senator Cox said the motion bears significance for the country going forward as it, was, as it has helped government and will continue to help in the protection of lives. Mr. President, it's because of this state of emergency that created the environment for us to respond quickly by installing necessary regulations in place to protect the lives of this country. We work together, Mr. President, with all our stakeholders to ensure that we put those measures in place and we educate as quickly as we can. Because at that time, as a government, you are learning as information change, as the scientists update how we should respond. We quickly make those changes. And oftentimes, we, 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 we forget that the person's in the, in the legal fraternity who have to help us to interpret um, how we respond in terms of those regulations to ensure that we do not infringe on persons' constitutional rights, but at the same time make an effort to protect their lives. The motion was supported by Senators Winston Garway and Judd Cadet. Senator Garway said the state of emergency is not necessarily for immediate implementation, but as a go-to arrangement in the event of another spike or outbreak. He encouraged Grenadians to do all they can to remain safe. In order for us to beat COVID in Grenada, every man, woman, boy, girl, have a responsibility first to themselves and, of course, to their families to follow the protocols and to, at all times, be aware of the dangers that is lurking outside there. We are asking for the extension of the emergency powers to ensure that we will be able, if the needs be, to have the regiment in place if we have to shut down to further protect the country and the citizen from infection we have that facility there senator cadet explained that government is not thrilled to implement a state of emergency however as leaders they deem it necessary to limit movement and interactions that can cause a spread of the virus we must lead as charged with the responsibility to protect the lives and livelihood of every Grenadian, we must lead from the front. And so, Mr. President, this state of emergency must be extended. Whether or not there will be an extension after May 2022 will be highly determined on the state of the virus. And we cannot promise, my dear brother, that it will not be extended again. We just certainly cannot do that. That's just the nature. The virus, if the virus continues to mutate, if we continue to have low rates of vaccination in our, in our community, in our society, then there's a high possibility, there's a high chance that it may be extended again.